Hi, this is Artu, and I just solved a problem that over 100 AI startups struggle with, and it cost me less than $5. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how I did it by creating an AI Discord bot using Shoots API. So what is Shoots? Shoots is a BitTensor subnet number 64. It provides you with decentralized serverless AI compute, and it basically lets you run any open source AI models. It's cheap, it's reliable, and they add new models fast. If you simply want to try out Shoots, go to chat.shoots.ai. This is chat application that runs the inference from Shoots. So basically all the AI models you see here, they are provided by Shoots. So head over to Shoots.ai. First off, to use Shoots, you do have to have at least $5 funded to your account. You're not really going to use the $5 if you're just testing out things and trying to see if you can build something, some small application or whatever. The actual price of the AI tokens is very, very cheap, which is one of the great advantages of a decentralized platform like Shoots. Adding funds to your account is very easy now. You can use your credit card or online bank. Shoots has added support for fiat currencies just a couple of weeks ago. This shouldn't take more than one to a minute. Worth mentioning here is also that every bit of uh, revenue they make on the platform, they put towards buying their alpha token back. So this is regarding BitTensor and their subnet. In case you don't know what I'm talking about, there are videos in the description and you can go see what is BitTensor and how subnets work. And now we are on the front page or the discovery section of shoots.ai. As you can see, there are a lot of different open source AI models. Another great advantage of Shoots is that they are very, very fast adding new models. I think they were probably the first one in the world to add DeepSeek R1 when it launched. So something I find really annoying is scrolling through Discord channels and trying to find the relevant info. If you're familiar with BitTensor Discord channels, uh, subnet channels. It is often, especially with new subnets, the conversation is mostly just people asking the same stuff over and over again. And also, it's not nice to try to find the info you are looking for. So worry not, I thought. I made a Discord bot. It uses AI. It takes pinned messages and the messages from the team members from the last 24 hours. It uses those as a context. And you can ask if anything interesting happened, if there is a GitHub, if there are any news, and it will tell you. And also, what's best, it will cite the source for you. And if it's a link, it will actually share the link for you. And now I'm going to show you how it works. But let's jump straight into using the API. So I have chosen a model and I have clicked into this API section. And as you can see here, there are a couple different options, different coding languages you can use to use the API. There is curl, Python, TypeScript and Go. I'm going to use Python. So here you can see the API call without going into too much detail. Just put your API token here. And next, I'm going to show you how it's integrated onto the Discord bot I made. So I'm just quickly going to glance over the code here in the AI processing.py. I am defining the prompt. It basically consists of three parts, which are context, the actual question and some guidelines. So for the context, it takes messages from the pinned section of the channel and from the last 24 hours from users with roles, which in this case would be team members. And the context itself is a string and it goes here. The user question, this is what a person asks in a Discord channel. And then below that, couple instructions. So my idea here was that it should be easy to tell whether or not the answer is actually citing something that has been said on the channel. And this is where you really can play with the models. As you can see, there is a second prompt, prompt B. It didn't work as well as I hoped. You could define multiple different versions, try them out and see what suits you best. It of course depends on the model, like what prompt gives you the results you are looking for. Some models may give more convoluted, longer answers and may need more instructions to remain clear and concise. And this file is just for pulling the data from Discord. So basically the pinned messages and the messages from anyone with a role. If you are interested looking at the code more deeply, there is a link in the description to my GitHub. Use it as you please. All right. I'm going to ask a question from Winslow, but here for undisclosed reasons, I named it Winslow. And Winslow is going to give a quick answer, just a sec. And now it is running the inference via Schultz API to actually provide me with some meaningful information. Okay, so here's the answer. There are some updates, a big CLI update coming and more information expected tomorrow. GitHub repository has been released. Check it here. Additionally, there's a YouTube channel and subscribe, by the way. It's a good channel.
see in the charts here, Shoots has already processed over a trillion tokens. So it's literally over 1000 billion tokens. Their daily token counts are up to 160 billion, which is insane. Since January, Shoots AI compute token demand has grown by 250 times, possibly even more than that. And that just really shows how well they are able to compete with centralized, more established platforms. And keep in mind here, they are only seven months old at this point. So that was it for the Shoots demo. I really recommend you guys trying it out yourselves. Give us a like and subscribe and next time it's gonna be Travis.